It's been a pretty long night. Um, I didn't get much sleep at all. I'm starting to get first light. So I'm just happy that it's the next day. I'm tired of the night. But um, all is well. I kept the fire going all night, which is good because it got cold. I mean, my even being next to the fire, my back got cold. So last night, I you know I was just kind of bored and I had to keep my mind occupied. So on the end of the stick here, I just got like a blob of pine resin, and um, as I was burning this fat wood, the the resin would just start to melt and kind of get clumped up. So I took the stick and I just, every, everywhere I saw a clump, I'd scoop it up. So it's just kind of an interesting material. Also, I'd use this to make glue. I was up for hours and hours last night, so did something while I was doing nothing, I guess. Well, I'm starting to get enough light so I can see well enough to make cordage. So I've got my fibers here and um, I'm going to get to twisting and wrapping and making some good cordage, and I think this will come in handy later on in the day. All right, I finally got a good piece of cord done. It's not that long, but um, basically what I'm looking to use it for is to tie up a bundle of, um, of grass for my bedding tonight. Dog bane fibers. Crazy, huh? This is where string comes from. So I decided I'm just going to get water out of the river here and um, I think that's my best option at this point. There's a few ponds back in the woods but um, the water's stagnant and just kind of nasty. Alright, so I got one of the oranges I picked from yesterday, and uh, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put the, the peels in the water and just boil it, boil these peels in there, and um, what I'm hoping that'll do is just take away some of the flavor of the water and um, give it kind of a citrusy flavor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You got the hawks chasing each other around. Mmm. Not the best oranges, but man, they're a heck of a lot better than the worst oranges. I've tasted the worst oranges before. Did you just see that? I had three adorable, like awesome little otters just like run up to me. And then they realized like I was standing here with a video camera. That was awesome. I, I just like heard something in the bushes. So I had my camera ready and three otters come out at me. That's so cool. I'm excited. And you, you don't see otters very often. So to have, have a few like that just run right up to you so close. That's absolutely amazing. That was well worth the trip. And that's why I come on trips like this. Because you you see crazy stuff, like, and crazy stuff just happens. I mean, like every single time, just something completely wild comes across your path. And that's what being out here is all about. Like, when I was at Fishing Creek, we saw that huge hornet's nest, which was absolutely insane. And on this trip, we've got those little otters that just came up. <laughs> That is so cool. You don't that you can't script that stuff like you can't. It it's nature. It just happens. And yeah, and I have to be ready for it when it does cuz you never know 
when it's gonna happen. All right, so I got up to a boil and here comes the tricky part, getting the hot pot off the fire. All right, that actually worked out really well. But um, now I gotta let it cool. So it's time for the moment of truth here. This is finally cooled off. Um, <laughs> it tastes okay, I guess. The orange peels didn't really do much. It certainly didn't overpower the taste of the river here. But, um, that's fine. Water's water, and, in the, and at the end of the day, I'm not going to get dehydrated. Now, I'm curious as to what it did to these orange peels. Mmm. Still a little bit acidic, but they're definitely a lot more calm. Not really sure if they're worth eating, though. You know, it actually tastes like those cattails. It tastes like they have boiled cattails in this. I assume that's just the taste of the water here. So that little dude up there on the bank, that's a Florida water snake, and um, it's actually the first snake I've seen. So um, that's kind of cool that uh, he's up there. Normally I don't really see many snakes at all on this river. However, I haven't like been looking really hard. I only saw that one uh, just by chance, really. I, I mean, there he was sitting out in the open, so I saw him. And that one looked like a really nice one. It had some pretty coloration, a little bit of reddish there on the side. They need to be pretty dark colored on the top to blend in though. Dang, so I was starting to set up my structure, but I just saw like the game people come in and I don't do so well with the uh, law enforcement. So I'm gonna get out of here and go somewhere else. Even though this is like the most perfect place ever to set up camp. All right, I'm in a predicament here. It's starting to get cloudy and um, the wind has picked up a little bit. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be raining but I just don't know how soon. Morale is just really low right now. So at this point, I'm considering bailing on the trip and just leaving. Because if it rains on me, I can't get a fire going. And of course, a bow or hand drill isn't gonna work if it's wet. I'm just in a bad spot right now. Guys, this was planned to be a three day trip. I'm gonna do everything I can, but I cannot risk my life doing this sort of stuff. If I feel like it's too much of a risk, I've gotta bail. So I'm gonna try not to be a little wuss about this, but um, you know, I don't think you guys want me dying anytime soon, right? So nature is harsh and nature is indifferent. It does not care one way or another what happens to me. And that's just the reality of it. All right, it is finally fire time. This is it. Do or die. Warm it up. No coal. All right. All right, so I wore a blister in my hand here. Right there is some skin lifting up. And man, does it hurt when I try to drill now. So um, hand drill is pretty much done. There's no way. I mean, that would just be really painful if I did try to 
try to drill with a hand like this. It's gonna suck paddling with a hand like this too. All right, here's the deal. I've tried everything. I tried doing a bow drill and I broke my string. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I mean, I was getting tons and tons of smoke earlier. So my options are stay the night, be extremely miserable. I don't think it'd be dangerous, like life-threatening, but it would be miserable for sure. Or I can go ahead and start heading back and maybe paddle a couple hours in the dark. To be honest, I don't mind paddling in the dark. It doesn't bother me in the least bit. I think nature beat me this time. Nature, I think it's safe to declare nature the winner of this round, because I definitely did not win. I didn't meet any, well, yeah, I didn't really meet any of my goals. Well, I built this little hut here, or this little lean-to, but really I didn't meet any of my major goals, which was to make a fire with friction. Well, I need to go ahead and get started, and um, get as far as I can before it gets dark. All this stuff, the cordage, the drills, the hearth, I'm leaving it all out here. If you're ever on the, if you're ever on the uh, on this river, you can come by and look at my failures. Ah! I just like almost castrated myself. <sighs> Man. Yeah, I need to get out of these woods before I hurt myself, cause whew, that was close. Even though like the survival aspect failed, the nature part was awesome. I can see those otters. That was probably, that was definitely the highlight of the trip, those three otters. And then um, just just the nature around is like, there's some really cool woods up here. And uh, I got to see a lot of interesting birds, huge flocks of ibises, that was really neat. Nature isn't gonna cater to what I need, it's gonna make me work for it. And that's the nature of anything. And so it's very humbling to be able to come out here and try to, you know, put in the grit and like rough it out, but um, nature says, nah, you didn't work hard enough. You have to do better. You're not skilled enough. And so um, nature's a rough teacher, but she's a good one. That sunset be behind me is saying, see you later, sucker. <laughs> it is pretty though, that's really pretty. On the one hand, I'm glad to be going back. On the other hand, I'm kind of ashamed that I am going back. But right now mosquitoes are actually chasing me. Like if I stop paddling, I hear a wee right in my ears. So I think overall I'm glad to be going back. But still a little bit ashamed. There's a lot of awesome stuff out here and you need to experience it. Because if you don't, you're not gonna care about it. And we need to care about nature. This, this is our foundation. This is man's foundation. And we're destroying it every single day. And it's so stinking sad. This is a gift. This is a gift for us. All right, I'm gonna, whoa. I just hit a tree. I'm gonna admit something to you guys. It's creepy out here. This is a creepy place to be out at night. Um. I don't think I like being out here at night. I'm probably not gonna come back here because it's creepy and my feet are cold, but it's mostly just creepy. I am officially out on the floodplain and it feels great. And I can even see the parking lot where I parked. And I am thrilled. And I've been thinking nonstop of what I'm going to eat. All right, I am back into civilization now. Oh, I've never been so happy to be back. I hate saying it, but I'm happy. It's been a crazy journey. It's been fun. I think it's mostly just been crazy. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on this adventure out into the wilderness. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys get out and experience nature as well. But until next time, find a new way to appreciate nature. <laughs>